so the day has came that my paints arrived for my room so we can now officially get started and oh my god i'm literally so excited but yeah i'm not gonna bother doing a really long intro because it's just gonna take up too much time <laughs> literally so so long because i don't know how long this video is gonna be so but first thing i'm gonna do is empty all this stuff which is gonna take forever because i have a ridiculous amount of just stuff so here is what my room looked like on the little like before it is a complete tip i know but lockdown's hitting me hard guys <laughs> and i wasn't going to tidy my room when it was all going to be emptied it's pointless but anyway yeah so i got this huge blue wool that's yeah, been like this for like two years now which i still adore but time for a change you know i've got these cute little mirrors i've just got loads of stuff basically so the first task is going to be emptying it all out of my room which took me what well, feels like it took me forever i was everything's just so heavy like i was so worn out the next day just from like carrying stuff probably the most exercise i've done in literally months so yeah, just taking down my little mirrors and those little sticky things. And they're just the best things ever. And taking down my little mood board. I don't know where I'm going to end up putting it. Oh, there's some groovy dance moves. But yeah, I still don't know where I'm going to put my mood board yet. Just because I, I need to paint the like board of it around the edges. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Because I, I still love it. I want to put it up somewhere because it's just my, one of my like, favourite things. It's just my little messy bit in it. I say that, my room's messy, but you know. But anyway, went in and filled in all my the holes in the wall because I have a tapestry that you might have saw in the beginning like I can't actually remember but yes yeah, so I've had it in literally every position in my room and it's been pinned into the like coving bits there's just mini holes everywhere and I decided I'm going to do everything properly so I went in filling in all these holes but yeah so I was, when I started doing this I couldn't find a um oh what are those called those like flat things Oh, I don't know, but I actually a knife and it was actually so much harder to try and do that. And then I wrote for a bit after I could have used a spoon because the back of it would have been really smooth. I also keep dancing. I was listening to music and I'd love if I could have kept in the bits of what I was singing too because I can't even remember it, but it just looks funny. Anyway, yeah, so I went in for this in. This actually took me so long. And also if I sound, I know I sound really unenthusiastic right now, but I had like five hours sleep last night because <laughs> welcome to Disney Channel um, because oh, I just had a really sore back and cramps literally till half four in the morning which is horrible but yeah here's me oh this is half shows I'm about so I'm just taking that down yeah a little boogie I had such a good time doing this I just loved it all literally hit me up for me to redecorate your room I swear it's literally my favourite thing but because I've redecorated it so many times but I haven't actually done it it's always been my granddad or something so yeah here it is me filling it all in again and it might be annoying you just as much as annoying me how my bandu is falling down and you can see the label but you know it's on my back so I wouldn't know cool I'm probably going through without singing oh go on girl go on so I was wondering if anyone has watched Too Hot To Handle so I started watching it last night because I needed something to just distract me. So I started watching it and it's just kind of like a worse version of Love Island, I think. I really enjoy it. Like, it's entertaining, but it is just like a downgraded version of Love Island, really. But I finished it today and the ending is so disappointing. Obviously, I'm not going to say what happened, but it's so disappointing. I was like, oh, OK, <laughs> a bit like whatever. But anyway, here I was cleaning off my windowsill because I had so many paint water cups and that, so they've all marked it and I've spilt so many things, so I'll just clean it all off. And taking off the little like rubbery bit around the edge, I don't know what that is, but it was all so dirty. But then, yes, yeah, so then my dad filled it all in again. Then I also went in and scrubbed all the inside of the window, but I didn't film it because I was too scared of everything getting wet. But yeah, so I scrubbed all that because that was really gross as well, because I didn't know people actually cleaned that. And then I realised how bad mine was, and I was like, oh, yikes, hate to be me right now. <laughs> so I cleaned all that. So yeah, just going in, scraping it all. But yeah, not fun. But, um, I keep saying but. Oh well. 
yeah, so I was a bit disappointed with two watt handle, but you know, it kept me distracted, whatever. Oh, and then I went in and painted my blue door. So this time I was very realistic and just sensible and took the door off. Because last time when I painted it, I just sat for literally like two days with it attached to the, my wall trying to paint it. And it actually took me forever. But yeah, so I painted this outside, but this is the only footage I have of it being outside because it was so hot. We had like three, well it's like the three or four days I was painting. It was so boiling every day, which obviously it was quite good because it made everything dry quickly. Also it meant it was so hot in my room. Yeah, so I didn't ever film anything outside because I didn't want my phone to get hot and everything. But yeah, this is me painting it. it. Took like three coats to cover it, which to be fair, I didn't think was that bad. Seeing as it's such a dark blue. <laughs> I did that, I never did the next bit. Oh, and then I made such a nice smoothie. It was so good. I'm literally obsessed with having smoothies at the moment. And then, yeah, going in, sanding it all down after what I've done. Oh, sorry to flex on you guys like that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> And then sand down my radiator because I just spilled everything. So I'm going and painting it all fresh, which I also realised I didn't actually use radiator paint because I didn't know that was a thing. I just used metal paint, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, going in, polishing everything. It's probably the biggest clean my room's ever had, to be fair. So yeah, polishing it all and then taping it all, which was just, I love taping everything. I was so satisfied. It was lovely, lovely stuff. I don't know where I've gone right now. You can't see me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and I'm about to go paint all the skirting because I was like, this everything's gonna be fresh. I want it all to be fresh. And now looking at my wardrobe, I just remember how I'm clean my mirror yet. You know, who cares? I need to do that. But yeah, so we're in. Everything's fresh. I'm just obsessed with painting. I could just do it all day, literally easily. Oh, I've already said now I want to paint the hallway. That's going to be my next project. But yeah. I also started watching again yesterday, 13 Reasons Why. And this will be the fourth time I've watched it. But I just love it so much. And I feel like people either really like it or they really don't. But I was obsessed with it. I think it's such a good, well-written out series. Oh, so this is after the first day. So it's actually pretty dark when I was filming this. But yeah, this is our first day. So then my dad had helped me move everything out of the way. But I never filmed anything around by the doorway just because the lighting's so bad because where the wardrobe was, it was blocking out the sun. Day two, I was very, very excited to do it all. So just again, sanding down all the um, poly filler. Using a little duster, going in. I was just, Day two was probably my most enthusiastic day. I got so much done. I was loving life. Absolutely loving it. But yeah, then painting it all because, you know, fresh. Oh, this satisfying hoovering. Oh, go on. So we've got a new hoover and it's so nice to hoover with. It's so much less effort. Oh, a bit more tape going around. This was fun as well. Just taping a thing off. But it annoyed me though, because I thought when I take it off, it'd be really nice and satisfying, but it just kept getting stuck. And I was like, oh, this isn't quite the same. Oh, I'm just getting attacked by the tape. So then there's me thinking, oh, Oliver, you're on such a roll. And then realising there was something white on my hand and I never waited for the paint to dry. <laughs> but just being the absolute ex I am, thought of a solution when you've got the hairdryer, very professional. <laughs> the way I'm so sad. It looks like I stood there forever, I don't think I was. And then I went and just sanded everything down to get a full, like, excess of the old paint, if you know what I mean. But yeah. And then we went in doing, I think this is called cutting in. I don't know, but this is what everyone on youtube does when they when i watch it oh i can't even talk i watch so many redecorating things on youtube and everyone always does this before painting so i did this and it was so much fun doing it oh oh dance moves so yeah i did that before i went in with a roller because when you have the roller it doesn't actually go up to the side of the wall so it makes sense when the first coat oh look how lush oh it was so much fun literally i did it so quickly it's a bit disappointing you know, because I'm such a pro. But I mean, because I love doing it, so I didn't want it to go that quickly. But yeah. <laughs> so, the first coat is done. Oh, that's weird. It looks like that's like still white. Oh, my hand's shaking. So, yeah, the first coat is done. I'm just going to leave that. I think that's what I'm going to do on the water today, just so I can let it have a breather, you know. And I don't want to do it one day because I'm way too much fun. But the next job is oh, 
painting these shells. So that's the white, I'm just gonna paint them. But those shells go all along the cross and they have my records on and they were black. But I want them white because they'll go better, anyway. Yeah, I don't want them to be as like bold as what they used to be. So I'm just gonna crack on with that, you know? It is the evening of day two, and not gonna lie, I've done a smashing job. Like, paint and decorate a who? Who? Me? But yeah, smashing job. But yeah, nothing else tonight. Chill, because I've got paint all over my legs. <laughs> but yeah, chill now. So, catch up with you tomorrow. So, day three, that breath from the concerts. So today, did another coat on this wall because although I didn't think it would need another one, and pretty much all of it doesn't, it's just over here that's a bit patchy still by the window. And it's just bits and bits. All my bed is here. Oh, the quality. So I need to move it all over here. Whoa. Today is the day we would move on to the wallpapering and by we I mean I would stand there with my dad wallpapered but I'm not going to talk that much because you're going to hear some class jokes but in a minute you're going to see us just struggling by the corner because I measured it wrong and didn't get enough wallpaper whoops right under my feet though yeah it doesn't all the time Ooh. 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 Because I can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the wallpaper up and then nothing else in here, just my wardrobe. So yeah, after four solid days of painting and sanding and hoovering and a day of wallpapering, we have finished the official painting part of it, if you know what I mean. Like, we finished the actual room bit. I don't know. I don't know about that, but it would be good. But it's all done. I got my groovy wallpaper up. But I am going to be stopping the video so I can split it into two. Because otherwise it's just going to be too long for you guys. So, But yeah, if you've watched all the way through, thank you very much. And please give it a like and turn the post notifications on, the little bell so you know when i upload the next video which will be me decorating the room but yeah thank you for watching bye